Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome to RBEI classes. This is Shruti and today I am going to discuss about ACET examination. Like what is ACET? Uh, what, who can give ACET? What are its content etc etc. If you want to learn such information about ACET examination then do watch this video till the end. Now let's start the video. ACET or Actuarial Common Entrance Test. There are mainly, uh, there are many actuarial bodies worldwide but mainly in India people give actuarial exams through these two institutes that is Institute and Faculty of Actuaries or IFOA and Institute of Actuaries of India or IAI. Today we are going to talk about IAI because ACET examinations are conducted by IAI only. What is ACET? ACET is an entrance exam to get the membership of Institute of Actuaries of India to appear for further actuarial papers. It is very important to get the membership of this institute because without being a member of this institute you cannot appear for further 13 actuarial papers and you can get the membership only by clearing this ACET examination. Now who is eligible for this examination? You must have passed pl your plus 2 examination with English as one of your subjects or you are already in education at high levels or you are working and having qualifications in mathematical subjects. There is no age bar for this test. Generally, it is con generally this exam is conducted twice a year but uh, Recent, uh, from recent past years, we have noticed that there is no pattern of this examination. They will inform you before two months of this examination. So the recent dates are registration has been started from 24th of April 2021. It will close on 2nd of June 2021 at 3 p.m. The date of examination is 26th of June 2021 and the result will be announced on 3rd of July 2021. Now the exam pattern of uh, ACET. It has 5 subjects, Mathematics, Statistics, English, Data Interpretation and Logical Reasoning. It is a 3 hour computer based online test conducted in a single day with one slot. It is a 100 marks multiple choice type questions test where you will be given 4 options with 1 correct answer. Uh, there will be total 70 questions that is 45 questions of 1 mark each, 20 questions of 2 marks each and 5 questions of 3 marks each. It, is, it has no negative marking for incorrect answers. The pass marks is 50%, the marks weightage is uh, mathematics 30%, statistics 30%, English 15%, data interpretation 15% and logical reasoning 10%. Now let's look at the syllabus. Mathematics. Uh, in mathematics, major part will be covered in your plus 2 syllabus only like numerical methods, algebra, differentiation, integration, vectors, matrices uh, and uh, there will be few little uh, additions if we see this topic separately like partial differentiation, double integration, uh, Maclaurin and Taylor series. Okay, so by practice scoring 30 full 30 percent in this subject is not that difficult then you have statistics a uh, few chapters will be covered in your plus two syllabus only but the major part is new so i will recommend you to fo focus here more because it will form the base of your further actuarial papers and certain topics like um, discrete random variables continuous random variables discrete and continuous distributions correlation regression these all will be covered in your cs1 syllabus as well so focus in this subject more and by practice gaining 30 full 30 percent in this subject is not that difficult then English here um, you uh, you can uh, read English newspapers watch English movies uh, read English novels this will enhance your vocabulary uh, gaining 
total 15 percent is little difficult in this subject but then you should practice uh, more and more this subject requires uh, much practice then is your data interpretation uh, which is uh, of 15 percent here you will provided a graph like bar graph line chart or pie chart or Venn diagrams or etc then there will be some computational questions uh, based on those diagram or based on those charts so if you're good with ma mathematical skills then gaining this 15 percent will not be that difficult it is um, slightly uh, easy compared to all other subjects then logical reasoning here uh, they are going to check your basic intelligence so scoring 10 percent is not very difficult here also then again if you know the tricks of uh, these uh, basically uh, these topics then and you do much practice then gaining 10 full 10 percent in is not that difficult here even so this was all about ACET examination if you like if you find this video uh, useful then do like and share and if you have any query regarding ACET examination then you can comment down below or you can message on the number given so yeah thank you